something today. Um, what I want to share, and I'm going to entitle this "Dealing with Different Personalities in the Workplace." So, I really wanted to aim this towards my younger folks, but this could go for anybody that you know has to deal with people in the workplace, like. It's just, it can be very hard and frustrating, but I will say that everybody's dealing with something every day. The sure you wake up, it's gonna be some kind of issue, some kind of problem that you might have, right? And you gotta go to work on top of that. And a lot of times, people bring all of that to work, inside of work, right? And time you say something to them, they're ready to snap, crack or pop. And it's like, you know, and sometimes people be like, oh, I can't, I can't, I can't work them. I can't be around. I can't do this. I can't do that. But as sure as you work, you're going to deal with, you're going to have an encounter with dealing with people. As sure as you work. I have been working for, since I was 16, right? So I have met so many people, so many personalities. And as I began to get older, I realized that you don't have to like a person. You don't have to get along with them. You just have to work with them, right? You don't have to be their best friend. You don't have to have a conversation with them. Just um, mutual respect, right? And if it's if it gets to a point where um, they are threatening you or it could lead to something else, be sure to take that to your human resource department and handle that, right? Don't don't try to take matters into your own hands. And I've seen that happen as well, and people have gotten fired. And it goes from anger to crying, right? You're, you, you're, you're, you're frustrated, you're upset. And now on top of that, you don't have a job anymore. And a lot of times, like I said, people are dealing with stuff, right? And so what I've learned to do is, no matter what problems I might have going, going on outside of work, at home, or whatever, when I get to work, and I walk through those doors, that's, that's them problems, they'll be out there in the car when I get out, right? And that's how we have to look at it. You have to do this, and when I tell you that, it's gonna save you a lot of headache, it's a lot of trouble, period. You keep yourself out of HR, you keep yourself from getting write-ups and terminated and all kind of stuff. You cannot, and I, when I say this, I know it sounds redundant, I know it sounds simple and it's really not, but you cannot take things personally. And a lot of us take things personally. We worry about other people and what they're doing and why they're doing this and why you wait for you to do that and why this and why, why, why. It's a lot of that going on, right? We're here to do a job. At the end of the day, when you go to work, you're here to do a job. You're working for somebody else. If you want to work for yourself, stay, you know, get your own business. But when you clock in, you're working for somebody else and you got to do what they expect you to do in a timely manner, right? And you gotta get along with your coworkers, whether you like them or don't like them. Really don't matter, right? If you getting up out your bed every morning or every evening or, or night, whatever, whatever your, whatever your shift is, you're doing it for a reason, right? You got responsibilities, right? So keep that in mind. When, you, when, you, when you're up in there, you know, ready to fight, ready to fuss, just think about that, right? Is it, is it really worth it? Some people, like I said, some people wake up mad, angry. There are people dealing with stuff and they don't know how to process that stuff, right? And, and, and you say one thing or do one thing and they, they, they cussing you out, they're ready to fight you. They, 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 they're ready. They come to work ready, right? You gotta deal with this stuff, right? Do your job. If you can avoid them, avoid them, right? But we cannot do that. At the end of the day, you can't do that. There are people that wake up. They better not say nothing, nothing to me out the way today. They better not piss me off. They better not say this. They better not do that because I, I, I am not with it today. Just go ahead and stay home. If you feel like that, if you feel like you're going to explode and cut somebody out or fight somebody, just stay home. Simple as that. You want money or you don't. Because obviously you need your job. But you wouldn't be getting up going to work every day on the weekends and all kinds of stuff, right? You wouldn't be doing that if you didn't need your job. 
we have to think about that before we fly off the handle and get upset and get angry and want to fight and want to lash out and do stuff that you can't take back, right? Now, you got this on your record. Also, you don't have a job anymore, right? You got to start all over again. You know what I mean? So you have got to think about these things. Young people in a, in a you know, in a, just now getting in the working field, you're working with all ages, all genders, all personalities. People are having issues. They have issues, and some do not know how to process that. They don't know how to manage stuff, period. You know what I'm saying? And going to work, bringing that stuff to work, dealing with other it's a lot. It's some stuff that I had to deal with at work, and I'm just like, you know, what can you do about it? At the end of the day, I know you need your job, and you know you need your job. So do what you got to do. But like I said, leave them problems in the cop, okay? Everything everything don't deserve a reaction, a response. So you got to pop off and, 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 and give it back to them all the time. It's just unnecessary. It's a waste of time and energy, right? Because guess what? You're going to spend the majority of your time, the majority of your life, around this person, these people, every day. So try to make that as easy as possible. Okay? Just try to make it, it just, try to, just try to keep it that way. And I know it's hard. It's hard. But if we just digress before we go into that job, right? Pray. Listen to, I don't know, do what you got to do to get yourself where you need to be before you hit that clock. Because like I said, people are going through stuff, Right? Excuse me, you're dealing with stuff, and on top of that, gotta go to work. One person might say something, do something, and just trigger so much. And I've seen people that have been working for years, right? And somebody else, maybe been working there a couple months, say something, do something. They ready to fight them, hit them, slap them, whatever the case may be. And this person been there 20 years versus this person there two months. This person they done lost their job. Job is gone, right? Can't get that back. Got to start all the way over. If if you if you're able to, right? Is it is it really worth it? Think about that, y'all. Is it really worth it? We have got to learn how to manage our emotions, or they will manage us. If you don't stop it, it'll stop you. Think about that. We have to think about that stuff. I have seen so many people lose their job. Lose all, lose benefits, lose all of this stuff, cause they're mad and they're angry. <laughs> and 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 one person might walk by, or do something to them, and just make them flip out. We've got to constantly work on ourselves. Breathe. You get to a point where you feel feel like you' about to do something, and you' about to lose it. Go home, or go to the bathroom. Just go do something to calm yourself down and let somebody know. First of all. Let somebody know, okay, I need to go get myself together, and I'll be back. Like, let me give me five, give me ten, give me something. Give me some time to get myself together, okay? But don't put yourself in a position where you will lose your job, get fired, you know, all that stuff. It's hard starting over, right? If you want to do your own thing, like, get your own business. Do, do, do that. But you can't go on other people's jobs telling them what you ain't going to do and be mad and fighting everybody talking about you can't work with certain people. Because guess what? In life, you're going to work with people that you like, that you don't like. Daily, weekly, work. So that's all I can tell you. Keep on working. Keep on living. Life will humble you, right? It will. You'll be put in these positions and you'll be like, why is this happening? And guess what? It's teaching you something, right? Calm, peace. Separate that thing. you got to learn to separate it. Or you're going to lose every time. So... That's all I had today. I wanted to share that because I see it happening all the time. They're big and bad on the inside. Outside, they're crying. They're upset. Don't put yourself in a situation. Period. Don't put yourself in a situation. Be bigger than that. Leave them problems in the car when you come to work. Leave them in the car. Ain't no room for them at work. It ain't. There's a job to be done. Do your job. Go home. Take care of your family, your kids. Take care of you. So I got till next time. Let's talk about it. We always talking about it. Later.